Oh yes, the struggle is real. We'll talk about that today on Bible Time. Hello again, everyone, and thank you for joining me for Bible Time. Today, I've got a fascinating story to share with you. I had an opportunity to talk to a young man the other day, and this is how it started out. He's shaking his head, and he goes, I don't know, Pastor Phil. He says, it's hard. I, I know I shouldn't be doing some of the things I'm doing, but I still do them, and I, I just don't know what to do. And I said, congratulations, you're human. Now, I'm not giving him a pass and saying, look, because you're human, you, you can sin. What I'm saying is, when you are human, you are going to sin. So what do we do? How do we handle this? If we turn to the book of Romans, this is what I told him too. I said, if we look in the book of Romans, chapter 7, the apostle Paul tells us that he even struggled with sin. He said, the very thing I know I should not do, this I do. He knew that it was the law of sin working against him in his body that was making him sin. But at the very end, he comes to this realization, who will save me from this body of death? Praise be to God for his son, Jesus Christ. And then he goes on in the next chapter. See, that chapter ends, but the next chapter begins with Romans chapter 8, verse 1. Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Now, let those words ring true in your mind for a moment. There is now, therefore, no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. So why do we condemn ourselves so much? <clears throat> the enemy accuses us. Now, those of you that know me, can you call me a murderer? I've never murdered anyone. And I actually asked him, I said, I said, are you, have you ever murdered anyone? He said, of course not. And I said, well, then that's why the enemy can't call you a murderer. I said, now, if you've ever done other sins, and I don't want you to list them for me, it's not my place to know. I said, but they can tell you, you're a liar, you're a thief, you're you're an adulterer, you're all kinds of things. That you, they can call you those things. You're jealous if you have done those things. He's like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I've done some of those things. And I said, okay, but that's why they're saying that. They have the right to call you that. I said, if I get a speeding ticket and I go to the courthouse and the judge says, you know what? I'm not letting you pay this. I'm wiping the slate clean. I, you don't, you don't owe a thing. And it's like you never sped, you never got caught for speeding. Can you call me a speeder at that point? No, because the judge wiped the slate clean. I said, so when you go to him, when you go to the Lord, he's the judge. When you say, Lord, I did this. He knows already. And he wipes that slate clean. And I asked him the question that I'm sure we can all, at some point in our lives, maybe right now even, we can all say, yes. I said, is there anything that you've done that you have not yet confessed to God? He's like, oh, yeah, yeah. There was this time when I was 10 years old. It's like, I don't care what it is. Is there anything at all that you've done that you have not confessed to God? And I'm asking you that now too. Is there anything that you know You've done, and you have not confessed it to God. If you haven't, then the enemy can accuse you of it. But when you take it to God, he wipes the slate clean. He says, you are forgiven as if you never sinned, just justified, just as if you've never sinned. And they can no longer accuse you of that. It brings you freedom. How many of us are walking around with unrepentant sin in our lives? There's a reason that Jesus said to go to John the Baptist for the baptism of repentance. He, there's a reason we are told to repent of our sins. It brings us freedom. So ask yourself, is there anything you have not taken to God? If you can't think of anything, then do this. Ask God if there's anything you've done that you have not brought to him. You may not remember but he certainly will. I did that once. And for the next year and a half, God was bringing things to mind. And when he brought them to mind, I would confess to him and say, oh yes, Lord, I did that. And he forgave me of those sins. And I was restored and I was healed. I'm a different person now because I did that. I found freedom in Christ by confessing all the sins 
that I could remember and the ones that God reminded me of. Oh, and there are days that he'll still bring them up. They're just not as frequent as they were for that year and a half. But there are days he'll bring them up. And then I just take them to the Lord. And then I can no longer be accused. Do you want that kind of freedom? Take it to the Lord and confess your sins to him. Because there is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. That's your Bible time for today. Thanks for joining in. And I'll talk to you again all real soon. God bless. Thank you.